Welcome students to the start of your new course. This is module one, introduction to Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator, one of my favorite softwares because it allows me to draw. I get to draw logos, posters for print, t-shirts, all sorts of graphics just like this Illustrator logo was created in Adobe Illustrator. Here we are. This program is very unique. It creates what we call vector graphics. So let's look at that. This is very important to grasp before we even look at this software. So I'll just look at graphics for a second here. So let's go to eBay, one of my favorite spots. Here is a picture of the Rocketeer helmet for sale, which is one of the best comic books ever. This picture was taken with a camera, therefore is a photograph, that uses pixels to be visible. This computer understands this image as pixels. So I'll just show you something here. So if I open that image that I just saved into Notepad. You see this image represented with characters. This is what the computer sees to represent an image on our computer screen. It's numbers and letters and compression keys. And, um, this photograph is called a bitmap graphic. JPEGs are bitmap graphics. PNGs use Illustrator, on the other hand, creates something totally different. It creates vector graphics, just like this. This graphic is more simpler. It uses math to make this rather than pixels. Example, to make this black circle, Adobe Illustrator would use a mathematical function, so for the, sorry, the radius squared, determine it, multiply it by pi, so 3.14, fill it with the color black. I just m expressed this within a line rather than a JPEG image uses a lot of data. Look at that image. It's huge. So vector graphics are great for mobile devices because they are very small. They use this file is also, since it's vector, it's a math, it scales. So all logos that you see around are um, vector. Vector is great to resize, right? I could put it on a blimp. I could put it on a t-shirt. I could put it on a business card. And vectors print very, very, very well. But for this course, we are looking at Adobe Illustrator for more of a mobile web tool, internet tool. We're not going to look at Adobe Illustrator as a printing software, although it does that very, very well. So in summary, Adobe Illustrator is a tool that helps us design graphics that are great for the web. And I'd just like to leave you with a little outro from my good friend Tito. Gracias, Tito. Gracias, Tito.